We're going to be talking about stimulus checks, SSI, SSID, Social Security benefits, unemployment, rental assistance, all in this video. This is the latest stimulus check update. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. That's all I ask for you guys. And we got a lot of content coming out today. This was actually updated two minutes ago. So this is the latest information you guys will hear. If you guys are still expecting to receive, watch this video. If you have not received your third stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your first stimulus check, you gotta watch this video okay i'm gonna be giving you guys the latest and the greatest information if you guys are new to the channel all i advise you guys to do is like this video and subscribe and also you will be entered in the giveaway so i'm doing this giveaway cash apps paypals gas cards anything that i got feel that i can help you guys i'm gonna be doing that and i'm gonna give you guys a lot of this information hold on give me one second here because give me one second we got some technical difficulties okay I think I think my jacket was rubbing. I think my jacket. I got some strings on my hoodie. I think it's, it's rubbing against the mic. All right, so let's get right to this. These payments. We're trying the best that we can to push these payments to everybody who have not received their stimulus checks. Now, if you guys are still waiting on that, just know it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. They pushed out 130 million more stimulus checks. To the people of course in need but of course that was waiting and obviously you know if you're waiting this long and you have still been waiting you're not happy you're not a happy camper right you're not a happy camper but this batch includes the first of ongoing um the supplemental payments for people who earlier in march received payments based on their 2019 tax returns but are eligible for a new or larger payment based on their recently processed 2020 tax returns the irs said in a statement on thursday so they just said this basically they added more money to the people that was actually number one let's say if you had a child if any tax credits or anything like that just recently happened they're actually saying they actually added on to those checks so guys you should actually be receiving those checks added on to a little bit more money if you guys are still waiting Now, those people who received a plus up payment this week were likely in a situation in which their 2020 income was lower than their 2019 income and are now eligible for a bigger payment or had a better or dependent added to their 2020 return that qualified them for a bigger payment. IRS sent payments to people who previously didn't have banking information on file but have now provided the information in their most recent tax return. The plus up payments, as well as payments for people whose banking information was recently provided to the IRS will continue as the IRS processes their 2019 and 2020 tax returns. Now starting Friday, which is today, those people who are still waiting for their social security and other federal you know, beneficiaries who did not file their 2019 or 2020 taxes or did not use the IRS non-filer tool for direct payments, the IRS received data about the federal benefits last Thursday about a delay with the Democratic lawmakers, you know, which was caused by the Social Security Commissioner Andrew Saul and appointee for former President Donald Trump. So they basically saying if you have, if you're on SSI, Social Security, you guys are going to be receiving those payments. Those payments are sent out. Now, people were talking about, you know, the April 7th date, you know, and the IRS, they made another statement just stating it can happen anytime before then. IRS is saying April 7th was kind of like the deadline where you should definitely receive it by then, you know, and let's just hope they're, let's just hold them accountable to what they're saying. They always give out dates, you know, they've done that in the past where they're giving out certain dates and those dates did not align with their actions. Now, that being said, the 130 million payments so far are worth $335 billion, which is more than 74% of the $450 billion stimulus payments. Now, there's actually a lot more people who have not received their stimulus checks and their SSIs, Social Security, stuff like that, who have not received them than there are other people that have received them. So what kind of plot twist is that? You know, so if you guys are still waiting, just know it's on the way any day now. And I know it's a tough situation. A lot of people got house payments, car payments, you know, kids, a lot of, a lot of things. Trust me, I know, I understand. A lot 
of things that's going on. So to have this money, the American people are in need. And it's, it's sad that, you know, we have to go through this. We have to go through these delays. This is delayed, you know, these different errors on the IRS's behalf. But, hey, at least we know for sure we are getting our money. Now, this round of the $1,400 per eligible individual plus a $1,400 bonus per dependent are around $158.5 million households are expected to receive a payment under the new stimulus deal, according to the White House. So they're just they're just basically adding on to the point where there's a lot of people. There's just let's just say it millions, millions, millions and millions, 158 million is to be exact. 0.5 people who are still waiting to receive the stimulus check, still or some type of benefit from the government, from the IRS. You know, because everything is not just a, this um, the stimulus checks, but there's other benefits and stuff like that that the IRS owes those people. Now, I totally understand, as I mentioned, and if you're going through this, help is on the way, but also drop the comments below. Let me know if you guys are still waiting. You know, drop, also drop the comments below. What is your concerns? You know, what? how do you guys feel about this? You know, because it's just, it's crazy. We have 158.5 million households that are expecting this, you know, and this should have already been distributed out. You know, so drop the comments below. Now, who actually gets the stimulus check? We kind of talked about that. A single filer making up to $75,000 uh, with the full payment, while those earning up to $80,000 will get a reduced amount. Now, if you got your joint filing making up to $150,000, you will get the full $2,800, while those earning up to $160,000 will receive a smaller amount. Previously, the phase out. You know, it was a hundred thousand dollars for single filers and two hundred thousand dollars for joint filers in a house version. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people may ask, who doesn't get a check? Now, I'm gonna go over this for the most part, but um, who doesn't get a check would be those without a social security number and non-resident aliens. You know, that's a, that's that's strictly from the IRS. Now, those who aren't in the U.S. or a U.S. citizen, you know, nationals and don't have a green card or have not passed. You know, the Princeton test, they are not eligible for the direct payment. Married taxpayers who file jointly where one spouse has a Social Security number and the other doesn't will get one $1,400 payment in addition to $1,400 for any child with a Social Security number. Now, also, taxpayers with individual taxpayer identification numbers aren't eligible for payments as well. Now, how will the government send you the stimulus check? The IRS will use the direct deposit information you provided from the taxes you filed for 2019 or 2020 and you may be able to use the irs nine filers tool to provide your information like the first round but so far the irs has not announced whether that tool will be available if this stimulus bill is passed now if you have no direct deposit information on file or the account provided is now closed the irs will mail you a check or a prepaid debit card instead if you receive no payment and you think you're eligible or you got the wrong account You'll be able to claim it on your 2021 tax return next year. Now, a lot of people are asking as well, how can you track your payment? You can actually go to the IRS website online and there's an IRS um, like get my payment tracking tool. So you can actually use that. They'll ask for your social security number, date of birth, you know, mailing address, stuff like that. The basic information that you should know if you are who you are. Now, if you guys got questions, as I mentioned, drop those comments below. Um, now, will the dependent bonus for if you had a baby in 2021, you can claim an additional $1,400 per child when you file your 2021 taxes. If you had a child in 2020 and your return has been processed, you should automatically get the additional payment if you haven't yet filed your 2020 taxes or they haven't been processed by the IRS by the time the payments are issued. You can claim the dependent bonus on your 2021 taxes. So, yes, you can still claim it on your 2021 taxes. I want to let you guys know I'm still doing that giveaway at the end of the channel. Please like this video, subscribe, drop those questions below. If you have not received your stimulus check payment or if you have, you know, let me know. But if this video was helpful, don't forget, you know, like this video, subscribe, and then you'll be entered in the giveaway. So I'm trying to give it back to you guys. You made it to the end of the video. So the best way that I can, and I give back to you guys, I can give back to you guys, you know. So don't forget. We got these videos dropping every single day. And if you guys have questions or concerns, drop those questions and concerns below.